हेलो फ्रेंड्स टूडे अवर टॉपिक इज मॉस्फेट सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी कॉमन सोर्स कॉन्फ़िगरेशन सो फर्स्ट वी विल सी द सर्किट ऑफ कॉमन सोर्स कॉन्फ़िगरेशन देन वी विल जंप ऑन टू द डीसी एनालिसिस ऑफ दैट देन फर्दर वी विल सी द एसी एनालिसिस सो बेसिकली इन डीसी एनालिसिस वी आर फाइंडिंग द जीएम टर्म ऑल राइट एंड इन एसी एनालिसिस वी विल फाइंड द गेन इनपुट इंपिडेंस आउटपुट इंपिडेंस एंड द सर्किट विल बी ऑफ बाईपास्ट RS, all right. So our first point is circuit. Let's analyze this circuit. You can see that the input voltage is here, output voltage is here. Simple. And also you can see that R1 and R2 are present. This means the circuit is a voltage divider configuration. Now basic meaning this is a gate side, this is a drain side, and this is a source side. The important point here is RS, that is the source resistance, is bypassed by the capacitor CS. Cool. and you can see that rd is the resistance in the drain area and cc1 and cc2 are the coupling capacitors all right and here we have the extra load resistance now our second point is dc analysis now why we do dc analysis is to find the term gm gm is equal to 2 kn vgs minus vtn so this is the equation all right now what can be the cases let's see first case is kn is given and vgs is given vtl is always given in the question for sure so kn is given vgs is given our task is simple we can find directly gm now case 2 if i say that vgs is not given all right but kn is given now this is the term we have to find so how we can find let's see vgs is vg minus vs right Uh, this is small. Let's say VGS. Now VGS is VG minus VS. Now the problem here is you can see that VG is here, VS is here plus minus VS the respective voltage. All right. Now VG we cannot find directly. We have to use the logic of Thevenin. Now what is the Thevenin logic? Let's see. VG is equal to voltage. this vdd voltage into resistance by resistance now at denominator we will have the total resistance so total resistance is r1 plus r2 whereas in numerator we will have that resistance which is connected to the ground so you can see r2 r2 will be at the numerator now vg we have found vg we have found but now let's talk about vs vs is we can directly find it from the question uh, or let's say the circuit how because here you can say here i will draw here let's say this this is the id current flowing all right id current flowing from here now current is flowing id resistance we have rs so what will the voltage vs correct vs is i into r so id into rs now we have vg now we have vs we can find vgs all right if we have vgs then we have this term then we have this term kn is already given in the question so case 2 was something interesting let's check a recap case 2 was vgs vgs is not given so vgs is vg minus vs now both the term we have to find so first let's find vg vg means we have to use the thevenin logic and you know how to find that now let's talk about vs vs means the respective voltage in the source area you can see this is the source area all right voltage is always equal to i into r the current flowing here is id resistance is rs so vs is this Now let's talk about case three. Now this is a very interesting case. In this, ID is also not given, VGS is also not given, but given you can say KN is given. Now you can see the equation again. GM is two times KN, VGS minus VTN. Now VTN given, KN given. Now the problem is VGS is not given. Now let's recall the equation of VGS. VGS is VG minus VS. All right, and VS is ID into RS. Now, in the previous example, like, like the case two, ID was given, so it was easier to find VGS. Now, ID is also not given, so this equation remains as it is. VG given minus ID not given, so this is not given, this is not given. So we have two unknown in this equation. Now we have one more equation. The equation is equation of ID. Now this MOSFET is in saturation region. So let's say ID is KN times VGS minus VTN the whole square. 
सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ आई डी वेन मॉस्फेट इज इन सैचुरेशन रीजन ऑल राइट आई डी इज नॉट गिवन वी जी एस इज नॉट गिवन के एन इज गिवन वी टी एन इज गिवन नाउ यू कैन सी दैट वी हैव टू अनोन टू अनोन वॉट आर दो टू अनोन आई डी एंड वी जी एस राइट एंड वी हैव टू इक्वेशन यू कैन सी दैट वी हैव टू इक्वेशन सो वी कैन फाइंड वी कैन फाइंड दिस टू अनोन एंड अल्टीमेटली वी विल गेट वी जी एस नाउ इफ वी गेट वी जी एस वी कैन गेट जी एम सो दिस वॉज द केस थ्री केस थ्री सिंपली सेज यू हैव टू सॉल्व दिस टू साइमल्टेनियस इक्वेशन टू गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ वी जी नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट ए सी एनालिसिस सो दिस इज द मिड फ्रिक्वेंसी ए सी एनालिसिस सो यू कैन से मिड फ्रिक्वेंसी ए सी एनालिसिस ऑल राइट नाउ द वेरी फर्स्ट पॉइंट यू हैव टू डू इज ग्राउंड दिस वोल्टेज राइट देन वी हैव टू शॉर्ट द कैपेसिटर्स शॉर्ट वन फर्स्ट कैपेसिटर सेकेंड कैपेसिटर एंड दिस थर्ड कैपेसिटर नाउ यू कैन सी दैट टू ड्रॉ द मिड फ्रिक्वेंसी ए सी एनालिसिस देर आर टू स्टेप्स फर्स्ट ग्राउंड दी वोल्टेजेस सेकेंड शॉर्ट दी कैपेसिटर नाउ दी टास्क इज वेरी सिंपल यू कैन सी वॉट आर दिस लाइन्स जी लाइन डी लाइन एंड एस लाइन ओके सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू ड्रॉ दी जी लाइन देन वी हैव दी ड्रेन लाइन देन वी हैव दी सोर्स लाइन नाउ द इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट हियर इज source because source is directly connected to the ground you can see that source is directly connected to the ground now this is because of the bypass capacitor cs because when it shorts you can see that rs become redundant so all current will pass through cs cs means this line all right now let's draw the mid frequency ac analysis the first compulsory component we have is plus minus vgs voltage the second compulsory component we have is the current source flowing from d to s current source let's say i will draw it clean current source flowing from d to s and the respective value is gm vgs all right now let's talk about the input side if i break this circuit you can see this is the input side for simplicity this is the input side this is the output side in the input side you can see that r1 and r2 are present and you can see that r1 is grounded here r2 is grounded here so basically they are in parallel configuration so i will say that i will write one resistance and i will name it as rth where rth is r1 parallel r2 simple and you can see that if we move further you can see that the input volt input voltage is present so this is the input voltage vi now let's move on to the right hand side in the right hand side it is very simple you can see that rd rd is present all right so we will write the rd resistance you can see rd is directly connected to the ground so from d to ground one resistance rd and there is one more load resistance and also from d to ground so d to ground rl load resistance and here is the output vo okay now this is the mid frequency ac analysis circuit let's take a recap again first we have gate then drain then source source and ground are same because of bypass cs capacitor then we have the two components vgs and this current source then we have the input side and output side and the respective volt voltage and resistance respective voltage and resistance now let's find the parameters of that so this is the input impedance this is the output impedance so let's see what are the values input impedance that is zi the value is rth simple output impedance when we talk about output impedance zo zo value is rd all right zo dash value is rd parallel rl you can see zo dash we are looking from here so rd parallel rl simple now let's talk about gain so very important point gain gain is represented as ab and the formula is vo by vi simple because gain is always output voltage by input voltage now let's find vo so you can see output voltage is here now if you know that output voltage is current into resistance or any voltage you can say is current into resistance so it should be basically i into r now let's see what is i and what is r i you can see that the value is gm vgs right and r you can see that the complete resistance we need this means we need zo dash because zo dash is rd parallel rl 
so r is r d parallel r l right now let's talk about v i in input side you can see that the voltage is as it is v g s in parallel voltage are same so v i is v g s simple now v o by v i will be g m v g s r d parallel r l upon v g s this means that v g s get cancelled and remaining answer is g m z o dash because this value is same as z o dash so in this video we have seen the circuit of common source that is bypassed capacitor with bypass capacitor c s all right then we have found the dc analysis we have see, seen the various cases 1 2 3 to find the value of gm then we have moved forward to ac analysis where we draw the mid frequency ac analysis circuit all right then we have found the various term like input impedance output impedance zero dash and also we have found the gain to so friends agar aapko meri video pasand aa rahi ho then do like this video share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel to milte hain agli video mein till then take care this is shrinik jain peace out